Well, folks, I got to put a new water pump in the 115 Mariner here. Miss Joanne and Rachel coming back from the grocery store. I'm going to bring you guys along. Put your shifter in forward. That will help lock that shift linkage in the foot back there in place. Hopefully it will stay in place so that it'll slide in and out real easy on the splines when you put the unit back onto the boat. Leave at least one nut a couple of turns on the stud so that when you knock your lower unit loose, it won't fall off on the ground or land on your foot. That would hurt. Use a rubber mallet to break the seal on here you don't want to hit this thing with anything hard trust me this thing's hard enough you don't believe it lay your finger down and hit it with that rubber mallet and see how it feels it's coming loose easy it's broke loose now we should be able to take our nut loose and and uh, drop the lower unit off of this big 115 Here's the replacement part number, folks. I got this off of Amazon. This was the second attempt. First attempt, <clears throat> well, real short story. I'm a big fan of Prime. I subscribe to Prime. And so I ordered a water pump on Prime that was supposed to be in here. Well, it was supposed to be in here tomorrow. But then it uh, bumped the, the shipping date back to like the 20th of this month. And I needed this thing now. So I reordered it. And uh, you see, it's made in China, everything there. I think every dang thing we get with replacement parts is made in China now. But, uh, but this thing was less than 30 bucks for the water pump kit. Let's get it installed. It's four 10 millimeter screws, just four, that hold the housing down. I'm using quarter inch stuff because this is not really tight. Okay, the keyway probably fell out, folks. See? want to keep an eye out for your keyway. Some water pump kits come with new ones, some don't. So you want to make sure you keep an eye out for it. Actually, the, uh, 
Everything's in pretty good shape. Water pump is, is fairly worn. Always a good idea to replace it once a year. In my opinion, it is anyway. The keyway is directly on the bottom. If I had it flipped over, it'd been directly on the top and then it wouldn't have fell out. But that's what I'm going to do. I've got it in, if I had it in neutral, it wouldn't matter. I'd just spin it. But it's in forward gear to lock the splines in place in both sides so that they line back up when they go back in the motor. So, just do this. And the plate has a smooth side the plate has a smooth side and a rough side, sharp side. You always want to make sure that your impeller goes on the smooth side, but it's pretty easy to see. With the shiny side, that's where the impeller was at. We got new gaskets in the kit. Everything else really looks good. And I'm an advocate, if it ain't broke, you don't fix it. It's your water induction pipe. Not gonna the old one, or say the one that come off, is in excellent shape, so I won't be needing the new one. The impeller and all the air seals and gaskets. I like I use white lithium grease. Uh, I use that uh, for just to lube up all the parts and all that in here, kind of help hold stuff in place like keyway and stuff like that. Now, your shaft spins clockwise. So when we got our housing, our impeller housing off, this one is beautiful. We're gonna hit it with a little bit of grease. And when we index our, uh, cause see your fins are gonna bend whenever you put them inside the housing. We're gonna hit this with some white lithium grease and we're going to spin it counterclockwise to index it to get it ready to go back on the shaft. Take a new impeller, you see where the keyway goes in, right here. I've got the keyway up close to the top, so we're just going to index our pump, come in and just turn it counterclockwise. Keyway is going to be right here. So we're going to need to index our impeller to right along there. We'll get that as we uh, as we go back and reinstall it. Folks, I got to digging down in this kit and it came with a new plate as well as the gaskets and all that. So I ain't got to I ain't got to worry about cleaning the uh, the gasket off. But I will save that that old plate uh, in case. You never know. From uh, 90 horsepower to like 225, Mercury, Mer Cruiser, inboard, outboard, and uh, Mariner are all the same. I'm going to check my facts on that, but I believe that's right. 90 to 225, Mercury, Mer Cruiser, and Mariner, This the foot, the lower unit with all this is about the same stuff. Sharp on this side, smooth on this side. The impeller goes on the smooth side. You feel it, like feeling the edge of a razor blade. Smooth side, sharp side, sharp side down. Smooth side towards the impeller. So it'll go on just like this.
you could use some RTV and all that to hold that all in place. Most of the time, I just don't like to do that. Gasket alone is going to be just fine. Keep an eye on your keyway. Make sure it stays in place. drive shaft is really clean and folks the splines here that go into the crankshaft of your motor we want to hit that with a little bit of grease to keep keep that from uh we you know you can't grease make sure you never ever ever get grease or anything here on the end of your shaft you don't want a hydraulic effect when you push that thing up into the crankshaft you don't want it to bottom out and pop something loose chances are probably low that that would happen but you don't if you like me you don't need to take any chances with that kind of stuff just make sure there's no fluid and no grease here on the end of your drive shaft you see your shift linkage right there folks you got to make sure a little splined coupler right here that splined coupler Sometimes it'll stick on there and sometimes it will fall off. The wide side goes down towards the foot. So we will slide this onto the foot before we go to spline it up in here. It is still in forward. That way it'll kind of hold everything in place. We gotta hold this sucker up here? Until I get a nut started, I gotta get, and I'll, I gotta get all this stuff lined up too. Okay, well I'm just holding as in so it doesn't slip. You move it however you need to. Okay. This back here. Like that. And I got a nut. There it went. Okay. There it All goes. Right. I want you to know I didn't eat my Wheaties this morning. I ate yeah. my Pop Tart. Not what I, want to I know, I'm not what I want to, not what I want to be saying either.
oil is nice and I say it's uh it's not that it's that clean but it is uh it is definitely no water in it so we're good to go there I'm gonna lower the foot down I cracked the vent open up top now I'm gonna lower the foot down let gravity do the rest There's a little magnet on the end of your plug here. Make sure there was a there was a few metal shavings on there, and I uh, wipe those off. There's an O-ring on it, so snug is plenty good enough. On the foot, we got a vent right here. I've got it cracked open, and here is your check. We got to take this this one out and then we'll fill it up with gear oil. I've got uh, a quart is about 900 and some odd milliliters. Uh, whenever we go to the uh, Mercury website, it says this lower unit for this 115. 115 Mer, uh, Mercury Mer Cruiser or Mariner holds about 665 milliliters, which is about two thirds of this quart. So we're going to fill this up until it spills out of the hole. Folks, in time like these, I use whatever I can get. This is what Walmart had. Uh, this is lower gear lube, super tech. Same stuff, good oil is good oil, no matter what name is on it. This is, uh, this is good stuff. That looks like about a 5 16 piece of uh, fuel line right there. I think that's going to be enough to do it. Let's see. We still got a little bit to go. Looking if I had enough light, I can't really tell. It looks like I, we put about half of it in there, looks like. Folks, watch the vent right here. Watch that vent right there. If you can see it. Okay. See the fluid coming out of the vent? And right here, we've got the unit full. All right, we filled it up. Actually, I had oil coming out of the vent right here. So even though it is at an angle, this is a little bit higher than the, the check. So I knew whenever it come out of here, it is a little bit of an angle that we got it full. Most important thing is that this lower unit is full of new fluid. Well, there you go, folks. Basically, we got her ready to hit the water, be it the lake or the river. She's ready to go. We just we got to replace the um, the batteries in it. We had a couple of uh, of uh, trolling motor batteries. This is a 24 volt system, and so we need a couple of uh, good trolling batteries, deep cycle, and a starting battery in here just to be dependable whenever we hit the water with this machine. So we're going to bring you guys along when we go fishing, folks. Y'all stand by. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. This is Wade Rush, host of the Bubble Round Trail Outdoors channel, and this has been a Getting the Boat Ready production. We'll see y'all next time. Bye-bye. Miss Joanne says bye.